so 3 by using the trigonometric ratio of special angle fine so special angle it is 30 60 and 45 degree so here to get 45 degree so 45 degree means this one this one is equal so this one 1 1 so you get 45 degree so you can just use so cha toa so if this one is 1 1 so the hypotenuse is 1 square plus 1 square which is set 2 so i don't really teach you how to do this okay so because this one already you should already know how to get this triangle lah. so this one is 30 60 so you see here 30 and 60 so okay for example if you have this one right so this one is 2 2 so this one must be 1 and 1 right so this one is equilateral triangle so when equilateral triangle so every angle must be 60 degree so this one dividing 2 so this one is 30 degree so here we get 1 2 so this one is 30 degree and this one is 60 degree so we know that this one is the hypotenuse so this one is equal to 2 square minus 1 square so we get set 3 so you can use formula of so chatwa also to get the value without using calculator so a 2 sine 45 plus cos 585 The other thing that you must remember is the quadrant Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Okay, you, you must know which at uh, which quadrant which uh, which is positive, which function is positive. So we know that this one is all. This one is STC. Saya terlalu comel. Oh, what formula you can use? Okay, STC. Okay, so all quadrant two only sign is positive. Quadrant 3 is only tangent is positive and quadrant 4 only cos is positive. Okay. So this one 2 sine 45. 2, 2 sine 45. So sine 45 sine is opposite divided by. So 45 here opposite. Opposite divided by adjacent. So this one is 45. So opposite is 1. Adjacent is 2. So, this one is 1 over set 2. So, 45 is still in quadrant 1. So, the value is positive. Okay. So, plus cos 585. Five, so, where is cos 585? Five, so, if we have this one, the angle. So, we know that this one is 360 degree, right? So, we, the angle is go on. So, 585. Five. So, basically, 585 five minus 360, we get... 2 to 5 right 2 to 5 so 2 to 5 is in the third quadrant so this one is the angle of 585 so it is here so we see here this one is cos right so in the third quadrant only tangent is positive so the value must be negative so this one is 2 to 5 so that means this one the reference angle is 45 right 180 plus 45 so here we get negative cos 45 just write it back never mind so this one is 2 over set 2 plus so negative cos 45 is so cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so adjacent is 1 hypotenuse is 2 1 over set 2 which is equal to 2 over set 2 minus 1 over set 2 which is equal to 1 over set 2 or if you uh, if you use calculator so here it's already changed the set it want to remove the set right so how we do it is you multiply by set 2 over set 2 so up here you get set 2 so set 2 square you get 2 so this one is okay this one is also okay So B, 
tangent 210 minus cotangent negative 240. So tangent 210, so we know that this one is in the third quadrant, right? 210, so this one is 180, so 210 is here. So we need to find the reference angle. So this one is 180 up until here. So 210 minus 180, we get 30 here, right? So this one is 30. So basically in the third quadrant, tangent is positive. So this one is also equal to tangent 30. Okay, minus. So cotangent negative 240. So cotangent is actually 1 over tangent negative 240. So we see here the angle is negative, right? So negative, is it moving from here, this one? So we are going the other way around, 240. So this one is 180 and this one is 240. If this one is 180, then this one is 60 degree. So we can see that this one is in the second quadrant. So second quadrant, only sign is positive. So the value here is negative, right? So here is equal to tangent 30 minus 1 over. So tangent negative 220 is equal to negative tangent 60. So this one is tangent 30. So this one is 30 degree, degree right? So tangent 30 opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite is 1. Adjacent is 3. Okay. So minus tangent 60. So this one is 1 over tangent 60. So tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. This one is 60. Opposite. 60 opposite to 60 is this one. So 3. Adjacent is 1. Okay, which is equal to 1 over. So don't forget this one is negative, right? So negative. Okay, so 1 over set 3 minus minus become positive. So 1 divided by set 3 divided by 1. So when you multiply opposite, you will get, you will get 1 over set 3 as well. So here we get 2 over set 3. C cosecant 5 over 6 pi plus sine 1 over 6 pi. So this one we know when we have pi, it is in gradient. So same thing you need to know in which quadrant it is. So cosecant is actually 1 over sine 5 over 6 pi. So we know that this one, 1. So we know that here 2 pi is equal to 360, right? So this one is pi over 2. This one is up until pi, up until t pi over 2, up until 2 pi. So you see here, 5 over 6 pi, this one is less than 1 pi, but less than 1 pi, but then more than pi over 2. So this one is here in the second quadrant. So in the second quadrant, sign is positive. Okay, so the value is positive. So this one is 5 pi over 6, is also equal to, is also equal to, 1 minus sine. So, this one is pi, right? Pi minus 5 over 6 pi, which is equal to sine pi over 6. Or 180 divided by 6. So, this one is sine 30, actually. Okay? So, this one, never mind. So, this one is also sine pi over 6. Lah. Same thing. This one is sine pi over 6. So, we know that the easier way to convert to radian, uh, to degree, we just take this one as 180, 180. So this one is sine 30. This one is also sine 30. So sine 30 is here. So sine 30, sine is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Which is equal to 1 over opposite 30 degree. Opposite of 30 degree is 1. Hypotenuse is 2. Okay. So plus, so this one is 1 over 2. So 1 divided by 1 over 2, you get 2 over 1 plus 1 over 2. So 2 plus 1 over 2. So basically 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5 over 2. Okay, so this one is 5 over 2. Okay, tangent 2 pi minus 6 cosecant 3 over 2 pi. Okay, this one, you can just use pi. We know that this one is in radian. Or actually, you can directly convert to angle. Why? Because we have angle here. So 2 pi is actually 360. 6 cosecant so 3 times 180 divided by 2 here we get 270 so tangent 360 so we know that tangent 360 if you just 
right it, you get zero right this one is zero minus six cosecant 270 so cosecant is actually one over sine 270 right this one is 270 and we know that 270 is in the third quadrant so third quadrant sine is negative right so this one is equal to zero minus six this one is negative sine 90 which is equal to negative 6 so sine 90 is actually 1 so negative 1 so negative negative we get 1 which is the answer is 6 so why do i say this one so we know for the sine graph so this is something like this right so at 90 degree here at 90 degree the value is 1 